Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, A to C series in which we're playing as everyone's favorite MacArthur, the Northern Command. But we have a call to action. Team October will respond to any call for help no matter who sends it, even though we already got rid of them last episode. Especially if it comes on a pre-war channel restricted to the president only. During one of their heroic escapes, or escapades, Team October heard a signal that led them to an old abandoned garage. They found the armored car that once stood as, or acted as President uh, Germanata's chauffeur and bodyguard. This poor vehicle drove the wasteland where its camera system saw so many terrible things. Slaughter, cannibalism, the long death of the American dream, indeed. This wonderful robotic armored car wishes to kill itself given what befell America. Will Team October grant its dying wish, snuffing out one of America's last servants, or will it persuade it that America yet lives in the Enclave? Scrap it for parts. Let's ride it for America. Would Germanata tell you to give up? We're on the edge of glory. We don't have any political power, but we'll take it. Because we get the Patriot, uh, we have Jeffrey's son, Mason Salvatore, and now playwright Joannes. Which is pretty nice. Well, I guess we could have chosen this one instead. This one's alright. Starting compliance is nice and all. Um, but uh, efficient, fuel efficient subroutines, just to have it, because, well, last time we did this, I don't think we got that one. So, Regardless, we're having a pretty good time. We're doing pretty darn well, letting things roll out and stroll out. We should have gotten some uh, advanced waste and tactics. Next, we're doing a mechanized army. In which we are just kind of hanging out, having a good old time, like I said. Um, we got a lot of things cored. A lot of things not cored, unfortunately, I know. A lot of places are actually quite compliant now. It's amazing what happens when you sit on iBots. Resistance is not super high. It's going a little higher in the Steam area, but that's okay. Um, and we can demand a rebel territories from Middlemark and the Congress of Peoples. Hmm. The key color of our Republic to play war on the Wither Dogs, well, middle mark. Well, let's take a look see. So you guys, Spirit of Patton. Well, if you want to keep on read about keep on trucking in the free ways, please go right ahead. But let's do it in the Spirit of Patton. Patton was one of America's greatest generals, a prophet who knew the dangers of the Red Menace before his time. His political thinking was rivaled only by his armor doctrine. You'd be proud to see us now. Army reserves are good. It's also good to get that one done, but we're gonna go with gunsmithing, which discovered a long time ago, but whatever. Um, hmm. Let's core a little bit more. And I really want to see, though, what these guys are doing. Ooh, military signing bonuses? Yes, please. Scarlet Domain is fighting Middlemark. Middlemark is fighting... Okay, so who's winning? 1 to 3 manpower, 1,000 manpower, 40 divisions, up to 67. So they're definitely having a little bit of a tussle there. What else can we do? Uh, the Great Dive. 98, 8,000, that's pretty good. Even this is, looks like fewer factories, that's still okay. That's some armaments, nice uh, range perhaps. Spirit of Patton, New Ironsides, American tanks serve the nation faithfully from the halls of Moctezuma to the shores of Italy. Now I must use them one more time to protect the greatest nation on earth. Because we want to get through all these. Alright. Because then up next, after that, can we justify on the Ruminators? 90 days, not bad, only 18 political power, that's pretty cheap. Ooh, they have a unique focus tree too, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. We're training, but not really. Salad extension cover on the Broken Coast. We do have Coover here, so we gotta help them out next time when they go to war with somebody else. Uh, Bureau Mexicano, new Ironsides, gunsmithing is good. Do some of this. And we were this last time, or two episodes ago. If you wanna do this, please go ahead, more air aid, fantastic. Let time go on real quick. What is this? Hammer Slammers. The Enclave is not just a bunch of men in power armor. We're also heroes with mechanized units, capable of conducting wide and mobilized offensives behind and through enemy lines. And also heroes, really. So tank equipment gets more soft, a lot more soft attack. And then the Quartermaster's core. An army once marched on a stomach, but now it marches on fusion cores. But no matter what American soldiers need, be it in 1776 or 2276, the quartermasters will keep them in the fight. Hey, more division speed, that's pretty good. I do like that one quite a bit. Uh, let's take a look-see. Keep going this way, that'd be nice. And more air aid, why not? More speed, as we get ready to go to war with good old ruminators. We're still out of manpower, but we have 20, never mind. New systems care package. I'd like to, but don't really have to do that one. State funded radio programming. That's nice. I really want to see who Middlemark is going to take out. If Middlemark wins, great. If not, we can also demand a lot from the Scarlet Domain. Uh, maybe take out Congress of the Peoples. Uh, are you allied? 
Yeah, they are allied with quite a few people, so let's give them a little more time here. Because I'm going to take out the Ruminators. Oh. Wow. Vulpus. You're doing quite well for yourself. Good for you. North Cooper taking right. Good job, Silex Nation. Um, I would like to get through here so we can get to this one. Quartermaster Core, very nice. Good, artillery's done. And we need this one next. Conveyors are good. So we can get down to here. Better core creation costs. And... Sure, why not? Happy May, everybody. Happy May. Big Horner, nice. Settlements, I think we're okay for now. Optimized trading, I think we're okay as well. We can expand army training. So after these guys, then what? Two peoples? Well, maybe not, because that does open up a, uh, another slew of things to the second coalition, the miscounts. Um, in all honesty, the Northern League might be good to go with for. We can go to war with these guys. Maybe Yakuman Nation next. And then just hand it over to these guys. Maybe we are. We can be a very generous group here too. So let's go ahead and go to war. Have a little bit of fun with them. Hopefully, do okay. Forcing the defense, huh? Makes sense. But now they have to fight power armored units. So let's see if they can actually uh, do it well enough. Can you go around them. Good color ally in. If you're about Canadian airships, please go ahead. Boop. Northern Light Republic. Shouldn't be too bad. Yes, cut them off. Good. And Rosebud is ours. Probably took too many casualties because I forgot there was a waterway there, but now this looks way better. Looks way, 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 way better. Alright, so that's the case. Yakima. Happy June. So honestly, I think all we really need to do is just send you in. And we'll have them. Because past that, we do want to go to where the Brotherhood, in which I think Cooper does have cores on you guys as well, maybe? Oh, hello, Lord's Anointed, interesting. Uh -huh. Cooper's got a lot of cores on everything. Basically, they have a core on everything here, except the, this area, East Portland. We can take East Portland. Lord's Anointed, that is different. Is there a waterway here? No, good. All right. more enable things, that's fine. Get some more stuff done there. Help settlements out. We can close out of that one. Cha ching Airships, baby. The brother traverses a wasteland with a vast fleet of airships. Alas for us, we're forced to rely on jet aircraft, vertebrates, and mechanized units. Until now, thanks to the Whales of Liberty. Ooh. That was a little bit of money, but that's alright. We've got plenty of money for now. Use systems care package. Invest in the military academy. You know what? We can do that one right now, too. Auto injectors are good. Keep going with that stuff. Rosebud is good. Uh huh. Dough rollers, good. Dough rollers. Rosebud. Is that here? Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, so anointed. Oh, wait, I think I had the wrong people here. No, I had the right people. Well. Go figure. We're holding out, and they really like the power armor. As do I. <laughs> if you're going to build the Who Needs Roads, please go right ahead, too. Boop. Yeah, if they want to die like that, I mean... I'm okay with that. The old works, telephones. What else should we core here? Yellowstone, 7,000. 6,000. 12,000 is not bad. It's pretty good, yeah. Wait, how many was this? Uh, 4,000? That's a lot of factories, though. 8,000. 16. 16 seems pretty good to me, too. 300? Probably not the one for 300. This one would be okay to do. That's, that's not, honestly not great. It has two factories. But getting down to Casper would be pretty nice. Who needs roads? And uh, Malmstrom restored? Oh, yeah. Sophisticated air tech. Very, very important. So, how are we doing, uh, Sergeant Granite? Nice. Good stuff.
I'm closer to that one. Telephone. Pursuit worth saving. Awesome. Oh, we need one more, huh? There you go. And this is for our allies, not for us. We're going to be generous here. Oh, is there another one here? Oh, that's fine. You know what? They might want to attack us too. And if you'd like to read about anywhere in the air, there you go. Nice, good stuff. Awesome. Uh, let's come over here too. Advanced technology. We're going to go with Wasteland Tactics. Yes. Before I forget about that. Frag grenades, flamers, auto grenade launchers. I think frag grenades are where it's at. Fighting in Hills and Mountains kind of sucks for us. Ah. They are attacking us. Good. Are they still attacking us down here? Uh, they actually pushed through a little bit, huh? Go figure. Anywhere in the air. And then special operations forces. Well, I think you guys are good to go. Have fun with it. Idaho Falls, yes it will. Don't let him move. Chalk donation declared war in Texas, interesting choice. Uh, since we're all attacking, why not? Good. Well, I guess if we take it, can we give it to High Chapel, Hoover? There you go. Oh, and we gave that all to them. Well, I don't want to give them all that. Do we still have a state center tool mod installed? I do not. God dang it. That was a bit maybe too much. Well, maybe we'll go back and rethink what we do here. Well, I guess we didn't quite get them or give it to them. I should have included them in the war, but you know, whatever. We got a while until we can take out the Washington Brotherhood. We've caught a few more states here and there, and we did a proper uniform. Well, Brigadier, perhaps you've earned this after all. At this point, who could doubt that you are a real member of the Enclave, devoted to the cause, and Salt Lake Salvage? We thought our scouts were joking at first, but it seems that much of Utah is overrun by savages, raiders, and Mormon survivalists. Fortifying Salt Lake City is a crucial element, or crucial to ensure that Enclave's interests are protected. You have your orders, Colonel. Advanced Power Armor Schematics. Yes, please. Master drivers. Oh, that we did. No, yeah, I place a whole bunch. We see power armor. Huh. But you have to have high pressure hydraulics. Is it right here? Cool. Mm-hmm. 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 Sure, why not? Because we can. Uh, safe funded radio broadcasting, military sending bonuses, then rifle territories. They're still in the war still. Yeah, they're just kinda hanging out. You can amend it, why not? And the Colonel's triumph. Some would say the Enclave is nothing but fanatics, but how can they make such claims? The Colonel is uh, rejected the radical egalitarians and the more extreme elements from Chicago. It's time to reflect on life of the accomplishments and reflect on a legacy. Well, he will in a little bit. What else can we do here? Oh, they reject us? Oh. The Montana Patriot. The Montana Patriot was established in 2245 to explain to the Northern Commonwealth why the Enclave was there to help. And serves a valuable role given the truth straight from the Colonel's office, but with further funding, we can expand our hard-hitting exposés on the atrocities of the cultists and raiders outside our lands. We'll do that, but then we're going to switch over to uh, where we really need to be. Better experience soldiers' losses. Um, political power. Really, at this point, I'm just going to do it to four more states. I wanted to core Casper, like I said, but the resistance was just so high. But now it's not super high. So now, we get four. We got plenty of money, though. Plenty of money. Thank God for iBots. Woo! Makes me feel better, definitely. 
Uh, I guess we can do all this stuff too. Why not? This is very complicit. It's 54. It's supposed to add 40%. Nice. 92. We got enough money. doesn't matter at this point. 53. Jump up too. Yay, we're all happy. Happy-ish. Happy enough. Good stuff. Oh, New Canaan declared war New Canaan. They're killing themselves. Nice. Best in the military academy? Sure, why not? The Montana Project. And then we're going to switch out of this one, because as much as I like more political power, uh, that's not worth it. Demulto Descent is honestly the best. Yeah, I like this one too, but yeah, this is just better to do. Demulto Descent. Good stuff. And keep going. We're gonna go to war with them first. See, they attack us. Yeah. Kind of what I figured. Let them drain themselves on, on us. Let us take the hits. Especially the power arm in the center here. And then we'll kind of push out that way. Boop, boop, boop. Because we can take the hits, and once we're done with Coover, or once we're done, or we start pushing, then Coover can come in. We'll give Coover all the territory. Except for this one down here. Except for this one, too. Went to G. My bad. So resistance should be going down now. Oh, no, it's still going up. Huh. Well, all right, whatever. Resistance is going back up. Oh, that's not good. Look at all that green. I love it. Thousand losses versus 84. Ah, oh, another brotherhood. Another crazed brotherhood. It would actually be good to get the Glow's Cradle. I think they're afraid no to... Maybe, oh, maybe not. They're so close to Casper. They're probably not, actually. Who would have thought going to Wyoming would give us more manpower than where we're at right now? Who would have thought it? Actually, how much? 11,000. Okay, so I think it is possible we could all switch over to the robots. Never mind. I was wrong. That certainly helps out. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there you go. Let's do any more resources. Oh, God. Good attack airplanes, very good. Forging is very good too. Asymmetric hey, warfare. Nice. Jet attack airplanes, huh? Well, we don't have bird birds. Would be nice. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house. There you go. How are we doing here? Four thousand losses? They're trying. Even the brother to steal is down here too. Almost out of manpower, which is good. Let's save that. Because we want to see what. Ah, this stuff. We need more researches, don't we? But without doing a focus, this gives a little more manpower to work with eventually once we core more stuff. 2,000, that's a lot of resources, but oh wow, okay. I'm okay with doing this one first. Nice power system, nice. It's a little ahead of time. Civilizing tech? Let's keep going with this one then. Because um, getting it here would be fantastic. 194. That's a, quite a bit. But we're getting quite a bit of manpower now. Or, I keep saying manpower. Political power. Sanitation development. Uh, trade income. More water. We don't really need more water. Dockyard output. Construction speed. Stimulus wouldn't be bad. Brain solicitations. Monthly population. Why not? Purpose energy cells. Sure. Actually, 500 vampire does help. It's a great note, but it helps. Where are we at? Hey, look at the support robots. Now we're gonna make them all robots. Negative 325. It's dropping. It's actually improving by quite a bit. Middle mark is done great. Uh, Port Ma, the Mirelurk tribe sounds like fun. Which I played back in the day. That's actually probably my channel. My most viewed video ever was with the Marlock tribes, I believe. Ah, Congress people's good. And yes, well, it's call coming to war soon enough. Because the middle marks getting the crap beaten out of them. But who's in the center there? Safe Haven? Oh, Safe Haven's back, huh? War gaming, cool. The steam. Oof. 
Hey, that boosted us up immediately. Nice. So now we're back up to 1700 delay robots. Good. Good stuff. We got a lot of resistance here too still, huh? Up 39 divisions, which isn't bad. Any planes we can maybe use finally? 123. A little bit of cast. Maybe on those guys. Do we have any more opponents? Uh, scrap. Around the steam. Defense in depth. That's not really worth it now, is it? Cult of Renewal. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that one. That's fine. That's not bad either. Ooh, 22,000, 8,000 is better. Over here. Yeah. 300 manpower, not bad. Hey, this is positive. At least not empty. That's your training. Good. And let's go in. You may come in. Oh, we're not doing the sacrifice yet. Well, that sucks. Go ahead. See what you can do. You guys are going to be fine. I'm not worried about you at all. The center line is going to be a little more of a problem. The north is doing well. Yeah. We're doing a lot of damage to them. 10,000 casualties. Not bad. Uh, Port Mall. Would you like to join them? Group instructions. Decimation. Well, we we'll enforcers. Maybe we'll go with wayside knowledge. Yeah. Uh... Special forces get more heart attack and soft attack, and that improves 4% more HP for power armor. Okay, we're gonna go with Ancient. Decimation. Who needed manpower? That's right. That's what I always say when I play Old World Blues. Who needs manpower? We don't, obviously. Yeah, the power armor is not very good. Oh, that's okay with us. That is more than fine with us. You don't need a big army, just a good army. And all this stuff over here. Autonomous foundries. Uh, rocket launchers, perhaps. Capitol Hill has fallen. White sprawl, please. Nice. Um, you can have all this. So we will take this one. There you go. Helps them out. Even though this looks really ugly because I took this towel by accident, my bad. I wish we could just give him this towel. I don't understand why in 2024, when we're recording this, you can't automatically select which tiles you want to give to your allies. That makes no sense to me. But who am I? I'm just a person on the internet. Incalculable hatred. And I'm not blaming Old World Blues devs. It's a, it's a holy four thing. All the news unfit to print. Wrote the book. Oh. Horrible news, a reporter for the Montana Patriot captured photos of enclave soldiers roughing up a wasteland caravan. Oh crap, I forgot to switch that around. Um, rumors of such conduct always spread with the snow of the north, but nobody ever brought proof. But now, we're, these are in the hands of the paper, and the journalists are threatening to print them. Team October has been dispatched to find the journalist, which doesn't exist anymore like I said before, um, who has gone into hiding with a film. What shall we do? Go to war with New Canaan. That's right. Bribe the paper to bury the story. Bury the story. Why bury the story when we can report, uh, bury the reporter? The brother must have stolen the film and the journalists. Since when does the brother care about pro po pressing wastelanders? Yeah, actually, that's. You know what? Maybe we'll keep it then. That does help us get more political power, and if we can just spend money to bury things, money's no object. I do it on two again. Yeah. Daddy's one. Planet's looking good. Oh, sit down here. Hello. Thank you. Coover, now that you have more resources, can I request garrison support? I guess we got rejected. Man. Don't reject us. We're just trying to make you good. We're just trying to have fun with you. That's all. Oh, oh my god, they declared war in the 80s? Well, that's certainly something there, ain't it? Rifles. 
We actually made more divisions. Look at that. We can still make more divisions. Who would have thunk? Well, they're actually doing very well against the 80s. Holy cow. Hey, it gives us more of a challenge. And then when we're done without Middlemark and all them up there. We still have one more focus to do uh, with them down south. So, all right. So we're here. Record that. And we're here. And record 23,000 more. Beautiful. Metopolis is not bad. 12,000. Hey, 14, though. It's not great. This one's better to do. Or the timber line. Former timber line. Over here, that's okay. Metopolis. Yeah, 12,000 is pretty good. Hey, West. Oh, we can go to West Portland. That's right. You know, since they're busy, we're busy too. Looks like we only really need two guys, two armies here. No, I guess maybe three. Yeah, there's a waterway there, isn't there? Rock run is good. Damn equipment's good. Ball to explosives. The Great Bear. Military signing bonuses. Good. Oh, North Cooper wants to take him too. Well, I guess we'll include him as well. They can have all of Washington minus Winachi. Do anything here, huh? Well, Alright, do we have this type of broken? We do. It's really good. I think we'll be fine. Holy crap. Okay, this got well, way more intense than I thought it would be. Look how much it expanded. Holy cow. Kind of impressive. Safe haven, clear one in Scarlet Domain. Hmm. No one really likes each other in the Wasteland. Which is fine. But they don't have to. We're going to end up owning more than I thought we would. Port Mall, yes. Yes, we're done with you. All right, so, Coover. Boom. Smith demands. Us. Yes. Not bad. Now it's got a lot more interesting. Lone Tree is taking out a ton of territory. My gosh. Good luck. We're definitely going to need call Coover in for this one. Hey, West Portland is ours. Good. Purchase better drills. Invest in military academy. Sure. What's this one better? Do? Twelve thousand, seven thousand. Yeah, this one's better to do actually. Fifteen thousand, nine thousand, seven thousand. There's only so much political power to go around. This is one ninety two, it's not bad. Let's go and do it anyways. Good. Well, holy cow. Yeah, this is a lot of divisions to fight. Um, I'm glad we have Cooper. Let's save. Really? You only need two here? Let's send you guys over here. Get 
some mechanisms, that's good. Anything else we really need? Not really. Expand army training? Sure. I can't imagine they have too much manpower after all the wars they've been in. Oh, never mind, 45,000. Seven, several tens of thousands. Where are you guys at? Well, we could try it. If it doesn't go well, then we'll take a slight break from it. Go. And David Colin Cooper, too. Cooper, we've helped you out, so. You got 20,000 manpower to spare. You'll be alright. As long as we can hold the line, and they have no other way to get in, I'm okay with whatever. Yeah, they're attacking us now. Yeah, the uh, these guys are not holding out very well. Which I figured as much. Uh, oh, they're up here too. God dang it. Well, we're going in. And you to force the attack hard. Wow. Yeah, this is a giant mess. I didn't realize that they had extra stuff up here too. 5,000 losses. That's pretty fast. Not bad. I need you guys to take them out fast. Because honestly, once you get the core states, all this stuff goes bye bye. Tar walkers, yeah, we'll deal with them. But once we can take capitulate New Canaan as well as get to here. Oh, wait, I forgot. God dang it. Go in. Yeah, there goes that manpower. Oof. Wow. This 10,000 is pretty good. 13,000 more. Pretty good, too. Fall of New Canaan, that's good. As long as they don't have these as cores. That's a, oh, crap, that's a core. All you need is Crazy Horns and New Canaan. Everyone else will be fine. Even more soft attack. Just pile on the soft attack if you possibly can. Why is this one doing nothing? APA, yeah. Fight the power. Snaring Imperialist. They may have numbers, but my god. It's an absolute slaughter. 16,000? Okay, so that's good. That would reduce a lot of their numbers very fast. Now we just gotta focus on the crazy horns. Where are the crazy horns? They're all the way down here. Well, god dang it. Payson. Once again, out of manpower. These guys are gonna spread out, which is fine, because hopefully our guys can handle them up here, maybe. As we do need to picture lone trees as well. Why are we so stacked up here like this? I can see us easily getting in circle and whatnot. Put them in their place, that's fine. Come back down and around, and we got in circle. <sighs> I hate this giant mess. Tar walkers too. So I'm gonna finish this part off screen because this is very annoying. As we're gonna core more and more and more. All right, with the Mormons taken care of, we're looking pretty big. And actually, the NCR declared war on us, so uh, that's not good. They're fighting Malaya for now, but we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, but we're going to go to war with Middlemark and have a good old time. Happy November, everybody. We're out of manpower again, but like I said, that's uh, pretty gosh darn normal. I'm going to call our allies in, too. Actually, if we get rid of you, will we get any manpower? Where is it? Yeah, you guys. If we get rid of you, we get no manpower. Why do we not get any manpower from our ships? Oh, they attack us. Oh, they're trying to force the attack, too. Well, they did win the war, kind of. Um, cut our losses, that's fine. We're holding up pretty decently. 
I guess we didn't have to call them in. Hmm. Good figure. Not sure what the NCR is doing. Like, it doesn't seem like they have that many divisions. But you know what? I'm not going to question that, especially when the second second Mexican Empire is doing all right. Scorpion's Bite's doing all right. Uh, there goes the Texan Brotherhood. At least the Brotherhood died in this campaign. I'm not going to question it. Let's see. Watch out for some spies. Base more processes, new citizens, care package, more political power. We are desperate for scrap because it's really, really bad. Everything else is fine. Just the scrap is god awful. Um, it shouldn't take too much to get all that done and taken care of. Uh, 4,000, 7,000, sure, why not? 2,000 is not really worth it. 5,000, eh, it's not bad. Rider gear is good. Let's use that. Let's use that. I think you can choose some doggos too if you want them. We need a, a lot of scrap. Holy crap. 21,000 would be nice, but we've got too much resistance. 6,000, 18,000 would be nice. There you go. Good. 59,000, wow. Yeah, we gotta dig into Utah more. How are we doing with the war? We going alright? Oh, you guys are done doing stuff, huh? Yeah, I don't believe that. You guys go here. You'll be fine. You guys finish him off in the center. And I think you'll be fine. Oh wait, can't we do this focus down here too? New Canaan. All the oh. All the cores? Do we not have all the cores? Oh no. New Canaan has all these other places as core states. Well that's stupid. That's really, 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 really freaking stupid. You know, what's the point of giving Coover everything if they don't give us manpower? I need, like, a slave workforce or something. Well, there's that. Well. I didn't want to come to this, but whatever. So what else does, uh, do they have cores? The Malaya still, they put up a good fight. Gray Stable's alright. Please don't tell me these are cores, no. Sky Reavers? No. Maybe just Elko Posse. Perhaps. Could be wrong. Hopefully I'm not wrong. But we're really out of scrap. But we're trying to build more scrap and actually circuitry too. I guess just scrap at the very least. Here. You go down there. Just build. 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 Oh my god, build. When you're done building, build some more. Calgary, not bad. Sure, open earth process. I mean, that should help us out, right? Yeah, it does. Precision motors, nice. Even more steel. More resource efficiency gain. I mean, we're pretty much doing everything that we can to get more uh, manpower, more steel, and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of insane. Oh, we're going to go over the country. Well, let's take out Alcapazzi first, because I still want to do the focus first, too. Oh, they got a lot of allies too. Oh, crap, that's not good. I mean, took all that territory. Oh, it's not ideal. Uh, we could probably let this way suffer a little bit and then focus up north. Yeah, we could cut them off here, maybe. Here. And then focus on these guys here. Yeah. yeah that, might, that might work. Strong right flank. Sure. Visible hands. Nice. Utah, please. The Exodus is alright. Idaho is okay. New Canaan itself would be nice, but still too much resistance. Which means areas around it need uh, it's too much resistance as well. Hmm. Prospecting. Even more resource efficiency gain. Matitsi. Uh, 400's not really worth it, in my opinion. 93. 92. Well. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather sacrifice just a little bit here. Goodness, it's still not bad to do these. Atmospheric engines, it's fine. Because that'll help lower resistance, hopefully, in neighboring states as well. Uh, 
so it does help. Oh, is it going down? Please tell me it's going down. Ah, it is. Good. So more stability. Also, getting more stability does help too. Stability and political power. Good. We should help reduce resistance everywhere here too. That's good. That's cord. Yeah, new cannon would be extremely important to get. Slowly going down. Waiting for time anyways. So it's okay. Oh, we need water for that, huh? Well, I guess we don't need 150 of these things, huh? Share the scrap. Oh, that's not good. Eh, it's really not good, but I guess we'll go to war when we can against these guys. Because I really don't want to go to war with the NCR. I might just have uh, Amelia take him out. Oh! Amelia's struggling. But we'll see. You know, I, I, I'm just not interested in taking the NCR out. I mean, we've, we've gone through this entire campaign so far. I'm just not very interested in them. These guys I'm more interested in. Oh, they have another way to get through us. Oh, that's not good. Hello! Is it time to go yet? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Of course, that hurts our ability to get more stuff. That's alright. There's our stability a little bit. That's okay. Let's push in. Once we get to the main territory here, it won't matter. I guess this is the main territory, huh? Well, that's fine. NCR is like a plague. 21%. How close? I don't care where you're at. Um, help us out here. That should help reduce it, right? Yeah. This is it by a lot. Boom. There you go. That should help out. That's good. New Jerusalem. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, God. That's a lot. Well, that'll help it out, too. Pass is looking pretty good. And we got him. Cool. I'm going to deal with the NCR a little bit more off screen. And then we get to go to war with these guys up here once we are done with this focus of the Colonel's Triumph. Alright, everyone. So I spent like two, three hours off screen just kind of racking up more political power. We're at 2291. Um, and we have a little bit of manpower finally. We're at uh, every man for Uncle Sam. And when we did this focus, it basically it just said that we don't really know what happened to. The colonel. Men come and go, but Earth abides. And basically, we got replaced by Special Agent Jackson, um, which is also the end term guy for for this route as well. So, honestly, I'm a little disappointed that we end up with the same guy as we did before. Um, I wish it was different, but it's not. So, yeah. Not great. But it is what it is. And I still thoroughly enjoy this campaign. Now, we haven't done very well, but uh, here are the casualties. Uh, the NCR is dead. Uh, Northern Command, uh, we, were at seven, we lost a lot of guys in this war. The Congress people have done a, a huge amount of damage to us. Um, I wish I didn't call Coover in actually now at this point because they are taking a lot of land and I would like to take all the territory for ourselves. Uh, but as you can see, I've courted a lot of territory as well. So, been fairly strategic about it, but I've courted a lot of Utah down here. Very worthwhile core in Utah. 95, yeah, there goes the Congress people, so that's good. Just trying to get manpower is this enclave. It's very, 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 very difficult. We're on our max level already. The highest conscription level possible. So, we've just been researching stuff here, too. Nothing too major, but, you know. Group mass drivers are nice. Um, did we finish the land auction? We did finish the land auction. Safe haven, looking good. Auto laser rifles? Sure. Shouldn't take too much longer, but yeah, I was disappointed that we ended up having the same leader for both campaign routes. I wish we could hit the mother of Montana. We got rid of her daughter, and Team October's gone. So, in the end, the Enclave always wins. It's almost as if it was rigged from the start. Hmm. So, there go the old believers. Uh, I just hope... We are taking all the territory. We're taking a lot of casualties. They've taken a lot of casualties, too. But you never know how the AI likes to work. So, I apologize for not showing you the stuff, but... The Northern Lights are going to die. Uh, second, second Mexican Empire has won out in the end of the South, and I don't feel like taking them. Malaya's here. Coover's doing all right. New Victoria's done very well. And then there's the Canadian people up there at the top, too. So I don't think that they should be able to get too much here. But it could be very wrong. Uh, there you go. I want all this. It's not like you can even get over here, Coover. There you go. 
Hello? Whatever. All right, well, there we are. The Northern Command. Pretty good. Unfortunately, I wish I did show you the uh, end goal for us in which the last focus, but it really wasn't very much. But yeah, overall, it was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great enclave rest of your day.